We are here in Berlin, absolutely freezing, and um, we found some amazing uh, statues, amazing structures. This place is incredible. Yeah, this is, uh, we're in Berlin. Um, we're just heading towards Checkpoint Charlie, and this way. This place here is a memorial to uh, Berlin Wall. Interesting point about this here is there you've got the uh, Brandenburg Gate there. And on the top of the Brandenburg Gate, of course, is uh, the Nephilim giant. And what they've done is, is they've, uh, they've turned this whole thing into a tourist attraction. And they're charging, they're charging money for uh, for remembering the Berlin Wall in the 80s. The guy at the door said to us that um, it's to uh, let people know what the atmosphere was like in the 80s, as, as if anyone would want to remember anything like that at all, what it was what it was like when people weren't able to um, see, see their relatives or, or get to the other side of their own country. And there's souvenirs here, of course. You can get, you, get your souvenirs of the, of the Berlin Wall. And World War II. Yeah, it's a bit, it's, it's, it's a bit of a joke, really. Yes. You can have some uh, photos taken with uh, some soldiers here. We'll just go and get some too, I think, just for the sake of it. Not for the sake of hypocrisy, but just to show how silly this is. Oh, do you? Oh, you've got to pay two euros. Do you know, I just changed my mind, you know. No, oh, you've got to pay. Yeah, they can pay me two euros to take a photo of me. Okay, let's just, uh, here we go, watch this. There we go. Here we go. Berlin Mall, um, photo, checkpoint Charlie, with the soldiers in the background, completely free, no two euros to pay. <laughs> Why should we pay two euros? This is, it's, like a, it's like a circus and the guy's, the guy's got a little bag on him and it says two euros on it. Oh, look. There you go. Just zoom in on this bag there. There you go, two euros for a photo. Yeah, it's great. Uh, maybe, maybe they're going to charge to take photos of gas chambers and stuff as well like that. Truly, I think that this is disgraceful. You know, soldiers in uniform with a bag, with a bag with two euros written on it, so you can pay to take, so you can pay to have photos taken. With soldiers. Anyway, this is uh, this is what it looks like around here. U.S. Army checkpoint. Only two euros for a photo. Roll up, roll up. Only two euros to have your photos taken with soldiers here at Checkpoint Charlie. Do some covert photography, hang on. Sorry, are you, are you real soldiers or are you actors? Actors. Are you actors? Not only. Oh, I see, right. Is this sorry? Is this is this part of like um, part of the tourist board or something? Or is this part of the tourist board or is it private company? You don't know. Uh, 
Sorry, mate. Sorry. Excuse me. Hello. So I just wanted to ask, because you're not American soldiers, are you? Oh. Is it, is We're it? actors. Are oh, you actors? German actors. Oh, okay. Is it a private company? It's a private company. Oh, okay. All right. Because I, I thought that you were but American soldiers. You can sit here. Hmm? I thought you were American soldiers to begin with. No. No. Okay. So just the company and it's and they rent they rent this bit here and have photos. Okay, that's great. Thanks. Okay. Well, guess what? They're um, they're actors. They work for a private company. They work for a private company. Okay. Yeah, they're actors. They work for a private company. And um, yeah, how's that for a swindle? Yeah. So you, if you wanna. If you want to have your photo taken with Germans, <laughs> actors working for a private company, here at Checkpoint Charlie. Yeah, what a diddle, hey, look at that. Where are they? Let's have a look. Yeah, what a swindle. The Great Berlin Mall swindle. The uh, Brandenburg Gate. There is behind us there. Amazing structure. Well, we've just had uh, we've just had three hugs from a very nice young lady. Another one, three hugs. Can we get another one, please. There's all these lovely people doing three hugs here, which I think is wonderful. And I make you smile. And she makes everyone Aww. smile. That's lovely. Dude, it's the hair colour. Lovely what you so guys. Are you, are you Christians, are you? Christian? No, I'm not, not Christian. Christian. No, no I'm, I'm just doing this for fun. You just doing it for fun? Yes. Aww. I think it's very nice regardless. It's lovely. <laughs> I think it's very nice that you're doing that, giving yeah. people hugs. People need hugs. Yes, that's why we're lovely. doing it. It's very nice. You can see a few more of us here. Yeah, we just we just got another hug. Yeah, yeah. one of your friends, yeah. Nice. <laughs> well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Take care. Yeah, bye. bye. <laughs> Well, well that's, uh, that's some nice people in Berlin and, what, and one of the things I like about Berlin is, is that uh, everyone seems to just dress a bit <laughs> like they're a squatter sort of thing, you know, there's no, uh, there's, there's no, there's, there's, there's no, uh, there's no pretentiousness about the way that people dress. Yeah, it's very nice and there's nice people around here giving people hugs and things. This is um, this building is the Humboldt University. It's got a lot of different 
uh, Greco Roman statues at the top. But um, what I'm looking at here is, is this this statue here. Look at the the foot position uh, of the statue. That is called the oblong square stance. It's a Masonic posture um, to recognise Masons. Uh, you'll see that on statues all over the world, um, especially in places like Parliament in the UK, etc. It's just everywhere. So wherever you see that foot stance, you know that that is the um, oblong square Masonic stance. All over the place in Berlin, there's this name Frederick everywhere. This building here uh, says uh, Frederickus Rex Apolloni at Musses or something, but anyway, that's um, Apollyon, the name of Apollyon there. And uh, on the top of it, uh, are these statues here, holding heads. Here in Berlin, the Germans also have uh, twin towers. to uh, just come in and have a film around it. That's supposed to it, it, you speak English. What, what is that? It says over there what it is. Yeah, okay. It's 
Central Memorial of the Federal Republic of Germany to the victims of war and tyranny. Hmm. Okay. I don't quite know what how that's supposed to represent that, but anyway. This is another memorial to uh, World War II. Here's some uh, statues of nude people, three nude ladies and one nude boy. And just here, there's this, and it's water, see? So, so uh, you come walking along, looking at those there, and you can step in there, and you can ruin your day with a nice wet foot. I think whoever designed this, a sense of humour. <laughs> so uh, we'll just walk through the Ishtar Gate, shall we? Why not? You can watch us walk through the Ishtar Gate. It's amazing, these places. If you get a chance to come here, do do it. Right, huh? This is a statue of uh, Hercules, apparently grappling a lion, uh, but next to them, just there, is a rose, which is a symbol of Apollyon the Destroyer. And Hercules has another name. He's also called Zeus. And the lion is Apollyon, his son. So this is the devil. Embracing his son, the lion, Apollo, the destroyer. 